Hi guys, hope you had a wonderful and eventful GIS day. Welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 23. In this video, we will learn how to extract values from raster data in QGIS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload my next video. If you're new to my channel, you can follow all my previous videos and useful GIS tips from the links in the descriptions below. Let's get started. So today we are going to be learning how to extract values from raster in QGIS and this can be any raster or a polygon layer that you want to extract some values. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to load our raster, then we're going to create a boundary. And that's a polygon and our, around within our raster layer. Then we're going to generate random or regular points within the polygon. Then finally we are going to extract these uh, raster values from the point data. So let's go to QGIS and start this exercise. I'm going to open a QGIS and open a blank project. Then I'm going to load the raster layer that I downloaded for this exercise. So I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add raster layer. And then I'm going to browse for where my raster layer is. And it's uh, in the desktop, GIS, data. And I put it in the point sampling tool data and open. I'm going to add the raster layer and click on close. And you can see this is a raster layer. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ascertain which region it is and it is in Ethiopia. How do you ascertain where where the data is from? I'm going to load a base map and I'm going to add a maybe a Google map image. And it's in a region in Ethiopia so we have ascertained that our data is perfectly placed in the our region of interest so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a boundary for our area of interest to create a boundary you need to create new uh, polygon layer so I'm going to go to layer create layer I'm going to create a new shape file layer the file name is going to be I'm going to save the file name in the same same folder, chess folder, data. And I'm going to save it in the point sampling tool there. there. Then I'm going to call this the boundary. I'm going to click on save. Then the geometry type is a polygon. Then the projection, I can match it to our, our project projection, which is uh, uh, the projected projection, which is uh, 37 north. UTM 37 North. Then I'm just going to put one column there called maybe say, say the name. Or maybe it's a test text data. Then I'm going to add it to fill. Then I'm going to say okay. That is enough. So I have my new boundary layer here. So I'm going to digitize a new boundary. First of all, I'm going to just uh, make the boundary hollow. So I'm going to go to symbology. Then I'm going to make it a simple line and I'm also going to change the color to a red color and just increase its size a bit and we are good to go I'm going to click on apply okay and now I have and now I have my my boundary ready for digitizing so it's just an empty boundary so we need to add some information here so I'm going to Start editing by clicking on, right click on it and then going to toggle edit. And you can see now all my tools here are active. So I'm just going to create a, I can actually just digitize randomly, but I want to create a regular rectangle. So I'm just going to select a rectangle from extent. Then I'm going to just create a very nice extent here. So this is the area that I'm interested in. I'm going to call it A. That's the area. So I'm interested in creating random points here so that I can go maybe to the field and maybe just do some ground truthing. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on save and stop editing. So I have my layer boundary here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create random points within this layer bound. 
So I'm going to go to vector, research tools. Then there are very many things you can actually do here. You can actually create random points in an extent, or you can either create uh, regular points in, in, a, in an extent or a layer bound. You can also create random points inside a polygon. So for this exercise, we're just going to create regular points within this polygon. So I'm going to select uh, regular points. Then um, the input extent is, I'm going to just select, calculate this extent from the boundary. You can actually calculate it from maybe say the DEM output or, or whatever other uh, layer that is visible here. So it's up to you to decide. So I'm going to just use my, my extent. Then the point spacing count is going to be maybe say, because it's in meters, I'm going to say maybe say after every two kilometers, which is 2000 meters, I'm going to be having a point. Then I need to leave everything else that, as it is. And I'm just going to create a temporary layer. So I'm, going to, yeah, I'm just going to click on run. And it has told me the regular points has finished. So I'm going to click on close. And you can see now I have some regular points within my layer bound. You can actually decide to maybe measure the distance between one layer to, to just as I say if it, if it is two kilometers. So I'm just going to click on the measure tool on the toolbar. And then I'm just going to select one point and you can see it is actually two kilometers by two kilometers. So let's go to the next now let, let's go now to the main exercise that we are, we're supposed to do. When you open the attribute table of these regular points, you'll find that they just have some id number from zero going all the way to maybe the 2257 points so what we want to do is we want to add another column here that has the information about these uh, this area of our raster layer and the raster layer is a dm uh, is a dm data to just look at the kind of values that are within this area you can just uh, select the select feature then you can just click on on any any area randomly and you can see it it's giving you the value which is the dm which is the elevation like for this one is 187 when i click on a different region it changes so we actually want to just extract some of these values into our point data so what we are going to do next is we are going to install a plugin that is going to help us uh, with this exercise and the, so we are going to go to plugin Managing install plugins. Then from our all from uh, we are going to select all and we're going to select point sampling tool. So we're going to use this point sampling tool to actually get the uh, the values of the raster within the point data. So I've already installed it. You can install it. I'm not going. I'm not going to install it again. So I'm just going to click on close, and this is how it looks like. So when you look at your toolbar, it will be added there on your toolbar. So this is the point sampling tool. Now, since we have our regular points and our DEM here and our boundary, now the next thing we want to do is we want to now get the values of each and every point here, uh, which which is going to be the elevation values. So. I'm going to click uh, select the point sampling tool then the layer containing the sampling points which are the regular points is the regular points it has already uh, selected that then the layer with the field or band to get values from is our DEM so the output is the DEM you can actually even put the polygon if you want if you had a polygon that is underlying here you could have just selected also the polygon and even if you have multiple DEMs you just select all of them together and you can just get the values of all those uh, polygons that are even overlaying on top of each other so what I'm going to do I'm just going to select the DEM for now then I'm going to browse on how I'm going to save the file and this is uh, in GIS data point Point something tool, and I'm going to change it to a shape file. You can even put 
you can even put a, a csv if you want or anything else but i'm going to just save them as shape files then i'm going to call them regular points with elevation because i know i'm going to have a new column of elevation values click on save a shape file then i'm just going to click on run and okay and you can see it's processing here all my points and it has finished processing okay the new layer has been added so i'm going to click on close then i'm going to now look at now my new layer here and you can see it has the dm values now added to each and every regular point so you can do the same thing by creating uh, random points and using the same same tool to extract the same same values so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to label these uh, regular points so that we can uh, just look at the kind of information that we get by going to properties then labels then single labels the only attribute that we have is the dm output which is the elevation and i'm going to just create a buffer around a white buffer then the text i'm going to just make it maybe blue and i'm going to click on apply okay and you can see now all the elevation values for the regular points in display and within our attribute table you can also add the x coordinate and y coordinate in this column and be able to just go and do your field survey or ground truth thing depending on the need of your field work that's it if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on qgis subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when i upload my next video otherwise i'm just happy you're here see you in my next video